Deep in the storage of Nairobi's National Museum, this unassuming drawer contains an archaeological gem. The giant jawbone of Africa's largest ever predator, a prehistoric carnivore three times larger than a polar bear. At 23 million years old, this discovery made headlines the world over and is considered essential for developing understanding of the evolution of mammals. It shows the wealth of Africa in terms of our past ecosystems and what used to be in Africa. And we can do reconstructions of the environment from these, the possible diets from these, and what other animals they would have interacted with. But this important fossil was not unearthed this year. It had actually been in the museum for over 40 years before it was recognised as a new species. Museum staff knew the bones were something special. They just didn't know exactly what, and lacked the resources to properly investigate. There are only seven paleontologists in Kenya. And 99% of those people who work here are foreigners, for, foreign people. So it's important for people in Kenya to understand the importance of this to the country and venture or study things to do with human origins and evolution. The museum has not changed much since the 1960s when famed paleontologist Louis Leakey first started stockpiling his findings. A card-based, handwritten filing system is still in place. These crocodile skeletons are another important asset of the museum, which have helped further understand the evolution of animals and the landscapes they inhabited. This is a skull of a modern crocodile. And I want to show you at about three million years, the kind of crocodiles that used to exist during that time. Between seven and 10,000 new fossils arrive in the museum's laboratory every year, and the task of cleaning and logging each specimen is painstaking. With a backlog that could yet take years to work through, the hope is that many more unidentified evolutionary treasures lie in wait. <laughs>